Hey, mister. Which way is it to Kissimmee? It's Kissimmee. Center of town's about a mile down the road. You can't miss it. Thank you very much. Grandpa, why do some people call it Kissimmee? Well, I'll tell you about that, Joey. Let's get in the truck and take a look at some more of this fence. And be careful with your puppy dog now. When you put him in the truck, don't drop him now, you hear? Careful getting in now, Joey. Slide over here next to me and I'll tell you all about Kissimmee. So you want to know why some people call this place Kissimmee? Well, they didn't have a chance to grow up as you did, Joey, here in the heart of Florida. Kissimmee started out as a trading post. And this county we live in was named after the famous Seminole Indian chief, Osceola. Tell me about Chief Osceola. Well, Chief Osceola was... Now, we've got some more fence to look at, Joey. Let's make this an after-dinner story. Kissimmee? Kissimmee. I guess it doesn't really matter how you say it. What counts is that it's American, right to the roots. And it's still a good place to watch children grow. thought that Kissimmee would be sitting in the center of the biggest boom to hit the south since our neighbors at the Cape started launching astronauts. I'm not talking about our Broncos either. We have that kind of excitement year round, especially when the Silver Spurs rodeo breaks loose. Animals, the outdoors, friendly rivalry, and the Silver Spurs quadrille. Our young people learn to ride about as early as they learn to walk. This is our main street. We boost our civic groups and clubs, and our businessmen take pride in their shops and stores. We've been blessed with good, solid industries that provide jobs and contribute to the community. There probably isn't a housewife in the modern world who hasn't heard of Tupperware and they built their international headquarters here long before all this talk about being right smack in the middle of golden opportunity. Oh, we've progressed. Nice, steady growth, like all good towns that don't believe in standing still. If I didn't live here, I might not be aware of what's going on. Nobody's being too obvious about the changes. They're hurrying kind of easy. After all, when you're opening your door to the world, you have to be sharp enough to know how to treat them when they walk in. Every time we add something new, we plan how we can keep some of the old. Like our churches. There are even church bells in Kissimmee and the sound carries for miles. Churches and schools, the real training ground for our future generations. Here in Kissimmee, young Joey and his friends are lucky to have the advantages of modern education. They say we may see 125,000 people here, living here, within 10 years. Up until just recently, we were sitting pretty much alone here in the heart of Florida. All the action seemed to be in Miami, the Tampa St. Pete area, and more recently at the Cape. And here we sat spread out with thousands of acres all around us. That's not counting the 27,000 acres just to the west of here that's causing all the excitement. I guess I'd be worried about the changes that are coming if I didn't know how carefully our planning board had been moving. 
They knew something big was bound to happen when Florida's modern system of highways and expressways all seemed to crisscross near Kissimmee. Actually, it was some time ago when our civic leaders got together with our county planners, the Chamber of Commerce, and decided it was high time we protected what we have and made plans for what we're going to have by proper zoning. Urban development first, they said, making full use of the city, improving the downtown section, then adding new shopping areas, building access roads to handle the flow of heavy through traffic. There's no reason why we can't take care of the influx of people and new business in an orderly fashion. So we're zoning to protect our residential type living, at the same time allowing places for those big name motels that want space around here too. We don't have to give up our farms and ranches. That's the kind of living that's been bringing folks here ever since the early settlers discovered our rich grazing land for cattle. Forward-minded builders in the area have done a good job of planning our residential neighborhoods for those who prefer a nice big lot instead of a lot of big acreage. Our young married group think that the new townhouses are real handy for working people. Our police force is strong and well-equipped. We have good fire protection with a full-time force and well-trained volunteers. The city library is one we can be rightfully proud of. It gives our young people a place to expand their studies and keeps us all informed. Mothers are glad that tiny preschoolers can let off some steam at the playground on Oak Street. The Youth Center keeps things alive for our young adults. We have two golf courses already, and one has lights for night play. Our hospitals are fine, modern medical centers with well-trained staffs, and we're about to launch a handsome new 200-bed hospital. We love kids and figure we've got the greatest place in the world to raise them right. So we start when they're young, teaching them the lore of the outdoors. There are peaceful lagoons. And the waters teem with fish. There's an art and culture center in the final stages of completion and art festivals that offer an outlet for all kinds of creative ability. There's a community center at Kissimmee that never seems to have a day off. There's so much activity and good-natured kibitzing seems like our folks think they invented shuffleboard. Most of the people who found their way into the heart of Florida we're looking for real, relaxed, outdoor-type vacations. We don't mind being in the center of all this activity and the other attractions within a hundred miles of us, like Daytona and the Daytona 500, Cypress Gardens, Cape Kennedy and the Space Center, the Florida Citrus Open held up in Orlando, and Big League Baseball, the Minnesota Twins. Gatorland right in Kissimmee. 
and the Panthers. Kissimmee's still going to be headquarters for the exciting Silver Spurs Rodeo. Kissimmee's Central Florida Airfare draws thousands of spectators for the annual Rotary Benefit Air Show. And more people will come by private plane because of the fine, long runways and accommodations at the municipal airport. And they're always amazed at the Paragators, our precision jump team. One of Florida's greatest outdoor adventures has long been the famous Kissimmee Boatacade. More and more boats join the four-day journey into the Everglades with festivities all along the way. We're naturally friendly people. Look at our monument of states next to the Chamber of Commerce. They're calling us Glamorland, the new opportunity center of Florida, and looking at us with an eye toward business and industry we never imagined before. We're ready for it. The master plan of our airport sets aside a large tract for industrial use. I'm getting kind of used to all the fuss, but I'll never forget the day I first heard the announcement. Walt Disney to build multi-million dollar Walt Disney World in Central Florida. I often wonder if Mr. Disney had any idea how he jolted this quiet little Osceola County seat with that announcement. Just imagine a Magic Kingdom theme park at Walt Disney World that is several times larger and even more elaborate than Disneyland. A place where animated animals and birds seem to come to life. A family vacation land that by 1980 will have brought 300,000 more people to Florida. You can imagine the boom in store for Kissimmee. I have a feeling that in our own little way, we can bring back good hometown living to a lot of families. If they happen to come to Kissimmee because Walt Disney World is our next door neighbor, they're going to find something else. They're going to find the rich bloodstream of everything this country of ours needs to flourish and grow and still maintain its serenity right here in Kissimmee, the real heart of the American way of life. Joey, how about some supper? And then the story, Grandpa?